Welcome to the Retired Banker YouTube channel. My name is James, a retired banker. And on this channel, we talk about entrepreneurship, business, personal development, and we're concentrating on the next few episodes on how to prepare for the upcoming bad economy, downturn, recession, and possibly even a depression. Now, what are the industries that are recession resistant or counter cyclical? Some will call them recession proof or what have you. Well, we're not just going to look at those. We're going to look at other things as well that if you go back to the last recession or Great Depression, you wouldn't have seen because it's more modern. But we've seen from the pandemic are probably a smart bet. Now, here I'm just going to briefly outline these seven industries. And then in a subsequent episode, we'll talk about the different ways that you can take advantage or participate in those industries as we go into a bad economy to offset that bad economy, whether as an employee, as a business, as a side hustle, or as an investment. Once again, we'll tackle that in an upcoming episode. But let's look at these seven industries. The first, consumer staples, commodities, just your basics, things that you're going to want to buy and purchase, or perhaps things that you're just going to have to buy and purchase no matter what the economy does. For instance, I don't know about you, but I love to eat. It is something necessary to stay alive. It's uh, something necessary to be able to go to work. And it's something that you're going to do and provide for your family no matter what. So these are going to be things like food and beverages, but also household items. You're going to need to clean your home. You're going to need toothpaste, toothbrushes, things of those sorts, basic consumer staples, things that are needs, not wants. Okay, second, utilities. When it comes down to it and you have to cut all the extras out to survive, you're going to pay your rent, you're going to buy food, and you're going to pay utilities. You're going to need electricity. You're going to need gas. You're going to need these things. You will cut out everything if you live in the first world, if you live in a developed nation. So utilities, we're talking, of course, electricity, water, uh, gas, natural gas. Those are necessities for most people. They tend to have steady demand during economic downturns. Now, of course, those who are at the very bottom, they will have their uh, the, the very bottom of the economic ladder that are just barely staying afloat. Well, they're going to be affected by it. But most working class and above folks are going to prioritize the utilities. So these are things that are going to have a constant demand even when we go into a bad economy or experience a downturn. Another top thing is healthcare. People will require, will continue to require medical attention and prescription drugs. If you're working or middle class, then you're not going to cancel your insurance. You're going to keep that as a necessity for most people. And if you are below the poverty line, you're still going to be using the government programs, uh, uh, Medicaid, and those types of things or state programs. If you're elderly, you're still going to participate in Medicare. People are still going to pay for health care. So that's an industry that does really well and because it stays constant. It's in constant demand. All right, now let's get into other things that not only do well during normal economies, but become even more lucrative and more desirable. Discount retailers, because consumers become more budget conscious and more price conscious, they'll find themselves more often at a Dollar General, a Dollar Tree, a 99.99 uh, cent, well, it used to be only store, but they don't just do 99 cents only, but those discount retailers. And it's, the reason why this works is it's, it's not just because of working class folks, but middle-class folks, 
are also going to become more dollar conscious. And sometimes they already are, but they're going to be more so. So that's going to be something that is going to weather and actually be more attractive for consumers during a downturn economy. Now, this next one is something that we may not like, but does do well during downturns and during recessions, and that is debt collection. As the economy worsens, people start to fall behind on their credit card bills and their other things that are they will deem not necessary to pay or what have you, or they'll max out their credit cards as they try to stay afloat. Some people will want to negotiate those things and maybe keep those lines of credit. So debt collection is a business that will do well, fortunately slash unfortunately, during a down uh, economy. Number six is education and training services. What happens is people during a bad economy will find that they are downsize, right size, whatever you want to call it, fancy names for being let go, fired, or no longer have uh, find themselves having a job. They will need to make a career switch or perhaps they're in an industry that is in decline and they need to, to acquire new skills. Education and training services uh, for people that might go back to school or might need certifications or may just need to acquire all new skills become in demand as people need to refigure their place in the job market. Now, you'll notice that I haven't really talked about wants, but there is one want that is going to probably do very well during the next downturn, recession, depression, or bad economy. And that is digital streaming and games. Because people are going to be very tight on their budget. They're not going to go out and eat as much. We saw this during the pandemic and lockdowns. Even after things opened, people were a little shy and spending money on eating out or going to the movies or other entertainment. But they, were, they will be paying for digital streaming because they can control that in their budget. They can pay that X dollars and 99 cents a month for their favorite gaming or digital streaming platform because we can't, it can't be all work and no play. That makes Johnny a dull boy. And when it comes to your entertainment value, you're like, well, I can't afford to go out. I can't afford the gas, but I can afford X99 a month for my streaming and my gaming. So I have some sort of entertainment. I just can't be watching YouTube videos all day. I want to watch a movie and do some gaming. So people will turn to these streaming services with a fixed monthly cost so that they can be entertained and not fall into depression because they're not watching these videos and thinking about how they can actually take advantage of a down economy or hedge against it for the benefit of themselves and their family. All right, so those were uh, seven industries. Again, consumer staples, food and necessities, utilities, healthcare, discount, retail, debt collection, education and training services, and digital streaming and gaming. How can we tap into those? Well, we'll tackle that in an upcoming episode. Thanks for being here. I'm James, the retired banker. If entrepreneurship, business, personal development, and finance is up your alley, then please subscribe to this channel like this video, and hit the notification bell so you will know when I drop the next video.